Swan Kitchen, I'm Julia. Saturday I'm going to show you how to make a delicious frikadelle sandwich with a dill and red onion dressing. And for those who don't know what frikadelle is, <laughs> it is a Danish meatball made out of pork and veal. Uh, I know some Danes only make it with pork, but I have grown up with these pork and veal meatballs. So let's get started. So what I'm going to use for my frikadelle sandwich is uh, some minced pork and veal meat, a mixed salad, I just have some rucola in here and some other different kind of leaves, some spinach as well and so, and then some salt, some pepper, and then I have a store-bought ciabatta bread which I of course will heat up in the oven so it gets nice and crispy. And I'm going to use some milk some finely sliced red onion, egg, a little bit of dill that I've just chopped up, some flour, some yellow onion, some sour cream, and some mayonnaise. And I'm also going to use some oil for frying. So first off, I am going to make my frikadella. And into my meat here, I'm just going to add in my yellow onions. And then in with one egg. In with some flour. splash of milk and then in with some salt and in with some pepper to mix all this well until it's all combined. So that is my finished mix for my frigidella and I'm just going to put that aside and get my dressing made. So I'm just going to take some of my sour cream and add into a bowl here. And then in with some mayonnaise. And in with a splash of milk. Just to make the dressing a bit more thin, but you can easily leave that out if you want a thick dressing. And then in with my finely sliced red onion and in with my dill. and in with some salt and I'm just going to give this a good stir until it's all well combined so what I'm going to do now is just to make some meatballs out of my meat mix and then I'm going to fry them all on a pan together with some oil and when they are done on the pan, when they are nice and golden brown and my bread is done in the oven, the sandwich is ready to be made with the salad, the dressing and the frikadella. And after that, it is ready to be served.
So I really hope you enjoyed the recipe for my frikadelle sandwich and if you want to give it a go just go down in my description and you can find all the ingredients down there. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel here and I hope to see you all again tomorrow. Bye!